You know, I was about <laughs> a minute into what a, what I was trying to do when I realized that I didn't have the record on. So now the record is on. Hi, I'm Jay Clark. I'm the founder of Sable Warrior. And if you're looking at this, uh, you're joining me. Thank you in celebrating what is our ninth anniversary. Nine years, a day at a time of seeking to fulfill on our mission to just save one. I don't have any script, I don't have anything written. Uh, I've always done my level best to not work with a script, to just share what's there. And really this message is one of tremendous gratitude and respect and admiration for all of you out there who have made these last nine years possible. As I'm sharing with you here, live from Warrior Village in Hillsboro, Ohio, there is a cohort of female warriors downstairs um, in the basement classroom with Brad Gallup and Rosa Torres and their shepherd Sue Turner. And their experience totals 1,370 participants that we've served in the last nine years. None of that is possible with the people who have gone into their pockets, gone into their hearts, and have demonstrated with their consistent support that they believe that we are who we say we are and that we do what we say we do, and that is deliver an irreversible experience of the first order over which most people will never get. We have lost some people along the way in the last nine years, and we remember them and we recall their names. Um, we also have had a tremendous impact in transforming the quality of the lives of the vast majority of people who have had this experience. We know this from their testimonials. We know this from the way they share their lives with us on a private Facebook page, the way they interact with one another and support each other's continuing journey to healing. As I sit here just uh, up above the corner of the property, the National Center of Excellence for Complex Post-Traumatic Stress is being constructed. Last week, we posted some photos of a ceremonial groundbreaking with our partners at Disabled American Veterans, with whom uh, and for whom we have tremendous gratitude for their support and for their continuing support. What all that means is that in the not too distant future, as I said, we've served 1,370 returning veterans, first responders, civilian witnesses known as valued participants in the last nine years, we will serve as many as 800 to 1,000 annually, which will significantly, significantly increase the second order effects in our community of what we feel is possible in a true peer-to-peer -peer support model. What happens here in this irreversible experience is really hard to explain. And for me to try to do that would be akin to me taking you into one of the finest restaurants and you and I dining on the menu. Here at Saw, people stop eating the menu and learn to really enjoy the meal. And in this time frame, that's all I can share. But to learn more about us, there's a tremendous amount of information on the website, in the documentary films that have been done, um, The War Comes Home, Thank You For Your Service, The Eagle Rare Video. A lot of this footage is available on YouTube and we really invite you to take a look at who we are and give us the opportunity to continue to prove to you that we are who we say we are. This is a very intense experience. This is a life-changing experience. And it is at times a rather uncomfortable experience because we deal in the truth. We look at our truth in a way that many of us have not done so in a long time or maybe never have, but the experience is profoundly effective and we are seeing more and more referrals from traditional medical model clinicians, psychiatrists, psychologists than ever before. Again, as I get down toward the end of the time frame, I've been asked to produce this short video in. Again, I want to say thank you to anyone out there who has ever supported what it is that we have endeavored to do. We have continuously learned from past practices and continue to evolve and refine this conversation so much so that what was once a five-day experience is now a three-day experience and the dive is deeper and the conversation goes farther and wider and we feel the healing is even more effective than when we first began. That being said, as I come up on the five-minute limit, no one told you they love you today. I love you. I love the people I work with. I thank them. I thank 
all the board members, all the staff at Saul, the volunteers, the shepherds, and the alumni. There's a lot of work to do. We are just at the end of the beginning of where it is that we're taking this conversation and we need your support. I invite you when we dedicate the facility about a year from now, if it is within your means to do so, plan to travel to Hillsboro and talk to some of the people who've been through the experience, who've been out of Saul for a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years. Ask them what's different in their life today. Make them tell you. And if you're touch moved and inspired by what it is they share with you, consider making this experience available for another warrior, first responder, returning veteran in our society. Thank you and God bless you.